We are hearing from many scholars from uh, around the world. They're answering the question that's posed by the conference, what should be taught in math in the 21st century? We're finally getting to discuss mathematics beyond the traditional confines of what it has been for centuries. We're teaching subjects. Imagine for a second that we're able to categorize concepts we're trying to teach and then map them back into subjects. When you talk about modeling, you have to have students interact with the real world early and often. The subject matter itself changed because of computers. You use mathematics as a tool for solving the problem, and you use computers as the tool for doing the mathematics. A lot of good global statistics, as well as real individual entrepreneurial thinkers, and the way they're looking at math education, which has been quite inspiring. Maybe what we should be doing is focusing on developing the creative part of thinking, which I'll capture in the phrase, a habit of mind. You think about things in a way that becomes a valuable contribution to a multidisciplinary team. The highlight of this conference has been discussing the problems in math with people from all around the world. There is a concern on international level and a hope to improve and work together. So we shared our answer to what should be taught in the 21st century. We at Ross Institute and Ross School believe that understanding complex dynamical systems from a mathematical perspective is critically important for all of our students. The beauty of what I see at Ross is the ability to teach in a sense in a Renaissance sort of way, right? So not necessarily privileging STEM or humanities, but understanding the interplay between STEM and humanities. At Ross, they really teach you how to work with systems, and that is something that has given me a broader view when I'm studying for different subjects, when I'm watching the news, and just in general trying to solve problems. You have to become a lifelong learner. You have to be able to get used to the idea of meeting foreign ideas and foreign people and foreign environments and being used to the chaos which we live in today. I think that's what we're building with students is a framework to understand the significance of different things and the patterns throughout time historically connected. We want students to have that perspective. What do you consider are the enduring aspects of mathematics education? What should everybody in the population remember when we've simplified the tool part of mathematics, it's really bringing in versatility as being the main focus of an education, because in times that are uncertain and ambiguous, versatility is the only hedge against those times.